What's up you guys? Today I want to take some time to talk about just kidding. Today let's fucking vlog. <laughs> Weight is holding strong again at 110 pounds. Definitely have found that I have hit another hurdle and uh, my body doesn't want to drop below 110 pounds. But that's okay. We made it through the first one. We're going to make it through the second one. So because of that, coach has increased my cardio to 180 minutes, which sounds like a lot. But because of how much sitting I do, it's like 30 minutes a day. It's really not that much. And hopefully it'll help. So that is the plan for the next little bit. If you guys saw my previous video, you know that I now have eight weeks versus seven. I actually just posted that video today, so I know it's been a couple of days, but I just posted today as I'm recording this, and I am just blown away from all the support. So everybody who has sent me a private message, commented on the video, and just shown their support for me and my decision, thank you so much. I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate that. I wasn't expecting that much support, and I appreciate everybody thinking that I made a good decision and I had valid reasons, so thanks you guys. You just, um, reaffirmed that my decision was the right one. I appreciate all you guys so much. So I definitely feel so much more excited to compete now. I can't even explain it to you. Last year was very stressful. Yes, it was fun, but that was the biggest reason why I didn't jump into provincials right away last year was because of how stressful that day was. So I'm really excited that I get to just focus on me on my day and get to just focus on Kyle on his day. I think it's gonna be a much more better experience and I'm super excited, so. Now we just gotta get over this hunt, this 110 plateau. It's not really a plateau. My body's just being stubborn because it likes the chubbiness. It wants to hold on to as much fat as possible. And yeah, just gotta keep pushing you guys. Eight more weeks. Feeling strong, feeling excited. Let's do this. We're starting off with our front pose. When you're walking out into your front pose, you want to try to keep your hands as relaxed as possible. If you want to add a little bit of flair, make sure that you are moving your shoulders more so than your hands. You don't want your hands waving all over the place. That looks unnatural and you might hit somebody right in the face. So when you come into your front pose, your main focus is to get an hourglass shape and make sure that your waist is as small as possible and that your glutes look as large as possible. So by doing this, you do wanna tilt your hips to the back ever so slightly and make sure that you are flexing your glute. That's what makes your glutes rise when you're doing your front pose and that's what makes your glutes look a lot larger in your front pose. When you go transitioning into the quarter turns, this is something new in a bunch of federations and I know a lot of bikini girls are struggling with their quarter turns. A lot of bikini girls are actually doing more of a figure pose, but your hand that is just hanging, you want it to do just that. Let it hang and let it be relaxed. Your goal here isn't to show off your lats, you just wanna keep it nice and relaxed. Keep in mind though, you don't want to be hiding that glute, so it does have to come out just a little bit, so keep it further away from your glute, but not far enough away where it looks like you are a figure competitor. After your first quarter turn, you're going to be told next to quarter turn to the back. This is where I see the biggest mistakes when it comes with bikini girls. A lot of girls will actually lose engagement in their glutes and they'll allow their glutes to drop. This typically happens because they're moving too fast and they're a little bit nervous. So my rule of thumb is to always aim to be the last one turning around. This will keep all eyes on you so that you're the last person that they look at when you're turning around. So keep in mind when you're turning around, turn around super slow and keep your hips up nice and high. This will keep your glutes up and make them appear larger 
to your competitors. Once you're in your back pose, depending on what federation you're in, you'll have to have your hand on your hip. So if you do have to have your hand on your hip and one hand down, make sure again that the hand that is hanging is doing just that. Keep it nice and relaxed and close to your side. We're not trying to show off our lats as we are not figure competitors. Once you are ready to turn back to the front, you're gonna be told to do another quarter turn. Most people struggle with this, myself included. This is my weaker side. So as you can see, I'm fumbling a little bit here, but nobody is perfect and practice makes perfect. So when you're coming back to the front, Make sure your hands move nice and slow. I noticed here after filming myself that they weren't as slow as I would have liked. So I do recommend making sure that you film yourself as you'll see things that you cannot see in the mirror and it'll give you a better idea of what you wanna fix. So that is one of them. Making sure that my hand comes to the, my side as I turn around nice and slow and I'm not flinging it around to get back to the front. After that, you'll be told again for a final quarter turn back to the front. When you're doing your quarter turn back to the front, you wanna keep the same thing in mind that you have done when you hit your front pose for the first time. Making sure that you create a tiny waist, larger glutes, and keeping those hands nice and relaxed. If you find that you are in your front pose for a long period of time, it's totally okay to adjust, but don't be waving that hanging arm around too much. It is very distracting. Other than that, make sure that you practice, ladies. Practice makes perfect, and you want to make sure that you have your routine down to a T. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Happy practicing, and enjoy the rest of the video. So I don't know if I've talked about it a lot on my channel at all. I've talked a little bit on my Instagram, but Hoot's been having a really hard time lately. The springtime is very hard for him because of how dirty it is and dusty it is. He has a collapsed trachea, so it's already very difficult for him to breathe. And just the spring air is making it very, very difficult for him. And last night, Kyle and I had to rush him to the emergency vet at like seven o'clock at night kyle texted me while i was doing my cardio he's like you need to get home i need your help with hoot and basically he's just kind of crawling around and he's too weak to stand and to walk because of how difficult it's been for him to breathe and fuck it's just been it's really hard to see him like this and he's doing okay right now like he's just like he's not shaking but he's really struggling to walk and stuff like that so yeah the vet basically said there's nothing we can do just try to keep him calm keep him relaxed she gave him some sort of medication to help him reduce the amount of coughing that he is doing and we have a humidifier to turn on at night and we're gonna steam him in the bathroom which actually i'm gonna go do that right now and that's basically all we can do to try to help him feel more comfortable but Kyle and I were talking about it and he's just had such a difficult life, but he's just so happy. Like this dog loves life more than anybody and he's had a brutal life. He's had three knee surgeries and now this collapsed trachea, which makes it very difficult for him to breathe. So when he goes into like an asthma attack, yeah, he really struggles to breathe. So not to bum you guys out or anything, but we're just having a hard time with it. So if anybody's religious, spiritual or anything like that please send your love to hoot he can use it right now all right rant time and let me be clear there really is no way to determine if someone is a fake netty okay unless they fail a drug test right but people if you compete in a drug tested organization you cheat and you are not drug free let me be unequivocal about this you are a piece of fucking shit Leave it to Lane Norton, you guys. <laughs> Basically, every frustration that I have had, and the reason I'm jumping federations, not as fired up as him, but he's he does a really good job of putting it into words why I'm jumping federation. <laughs> Thanks, Lane. Thank you. Love your daily rants. If you guys don't follow Lane Norton, the fuck's wrong with you? Go follow him on Instagram. All right, I hope you guys liked that bikini tutorial. Hopefully, you guys found it helpful. Hey, buddy. Look at this guy. Hey. Say hi to YouTube. Tell them that you're feeling feeling great. Oh, I hear that. That's some coughing. It's okay. Yeah, you take it easy getting excited. Yeah, you just relax. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye, okay? Okay?
So he's doing a little bit better as the day as the day progresses. Still a little coffee, but he's doing a lot better. Thanks, you guys. I've had so many people message me on Instagram asking how he is. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. So um, before we sign out the video, quick little update. I am going to be reducing my videos to two days a week. Three days is just feeling like a little too much right now. My energy level's super low and... Kyle and I are working on some different projects, so I need to invest some time into that right now. But as soon as prep is over, I am going to be looking to ramp up my videos. Got some wicked things on the way. So excited for the next few months, you guys. You have no idea. Sorry, I can't tell you much more than that right now. But when I'm able to tell you, you guys will be the first to know, okay? It's always you guys. You guys always come first. On that note, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your guys' continuous support. You guys are fucking amazing. And if you guys are new to the channel, do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell down there so you guys never miss a video. And as always, you guys, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here. All these empty faces talking about problems, I don't care. I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching. I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance.